Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good and staying safe. So in the previous video, we learned about what is cloud computing, different types of cloud computing and what are the benefits of it. So I hope you got a good understanding of what is cloud computing and what is it all about. Now in this video, we are going to learn about AWS free tier accounts and how to create a free tier AWS account and get started using AWS services. So let's get started. So as we can see here, AWS provides free tier account to get started with AWS services and get hands-on experience with the AWS platform products and services. Now, there are hundreds of products and the services available for you to start building AWS using the free tier account. There are three different types of free offers that you can use depending on the service type that you're using. One is free trials, then second is 12 months free, and then third is always free option. Now, depending on the type of the service that you're using for your projects, one of the three offers will be available to you for use. Now let's talk about what are these options. 12 months free offer is the one which is generally given to the AWS, new AWS customers and are only available for 12 months, which means that once you sign up for the AWS account, it will start from that particular time from that particular date to the next 12 months. And then once your free usage term expires, or if your application use exceeds the tier, then you simply pay the standard pay as you go service rates. Next is always free offer. Now this one is applied to all the AWS customers. It doesn't matter if you're free tier account or if you are paying for the services. There are a few services which are always free for usage depending upon the service type. Free trial offer is the short term trial offer that starts from the time of the first usage begins, which means that if a service comes under free trial and you have started using that service suppose today, then there will be a short period of time suppose one month or two months for which that service will be available to you for free. Once the free trial expires or ends, then you will have to pay standard usage prices for that service as per the standard pay-as-you-go model that is set by AWS. Now, there are a few things that you should be aware of while using the services under free tier account. So your free usage under the AWS free tier account is calculated based on each month usage across all regions and automatically gets applied to your bill. Now, free usage does not accumulate and you can check all the billing in the AWS console itself. Now, the question comes is, how would you know if a service is under free trial uh, offer or 12 month offer or always free offer. Now the answer to this question is very simple. You can simply go to this page and you can filter it out the services using the tier type and the product category. For example, if I have selected here uh, tier type as 12, 12 month free and product category as compute, you can see that three these three services are available for usage under this category and under this tier type. So for example, EC2 service is available for usage for 750 hours per month, and it comes under 12 month free category. So you can quickly check out this website and then you can learn about which services comes under which category and then and you can decide which service to use or not. AWS has also provided some good videos on how to get started with creating the free tier account, which you can use. What is the AWS free tier account and how to use it and even how to check if I'm exceeding the free tier limit. So these are really very useful videos that you should definitely check out. And I would highly suggest you to go through the FAQs as well, because sometimes people say that I didn't use that service or my free trial is still active. However, I'm, I'm seeing usage charge service uses charges in the billing console. So I would highly suggest you to please check out the FAQs because they are really important before you get started using the AWS services. For example, one question that I would really like to talk about here is this one. So it says, I am eligible for the free usage tier, but I receive a charge. Why? Right now, this generally happens in the case of when we generally forget or we don't realize that we have exceeded the limit of a free tier account. For example, I showed you that for EC2 instance, if you are spinning up an EC2, EC2 instance under the free tier account, you are only eligible for 750 hours per month. Now, if you are exceeding 
or running that EC2 instance more than 750 hours per month, then you would have to incur cost and you will receive the charges, which is why I, I would like to repeat that please make sure you're using the services within the free tier limit and you're making sure that you're not exceeding the specified usage for the service or the uh, limitation that are provided by AWS. Now, if you're wondering how to check the usage charges, then you could go to the AWS billing and cost management dashboard and you can check it. Now, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, before that, I'm sure you all would want to create a free AWS account first, right? So you can just click on this create a free account option here and then you would lend into this screen which you would have to sign up for AWS account by filling up all these details and you have to continue with all the five steps that will be asked here. So you would have to provide your account details for billing purpose, your address, your phone number and email address so that AWS could verify your identity and then you can start with AWS services. Now, I already have a free tier AWS account, so I would skip this part. Now, generally, uh, it is a matter of few minutes that AWS verifies your identity and then uh, activates your account, but sometimes it might take 24 hours. But it is a very fast process and uh, you should not face any kind of challenges in that. Now, once you have created the AWS free tier account, you can log into the console and it should look like this. Now, AWS has also uh, provided an option to uh, use the new AWS console home. These are the services that are provided by AWS depending upon the type of category. For example, under analytics category, you have Athena, Cloud Search, EMR, Data Pipeline, and uh, AWS Glue. Similarly, for other like database, under database, you have various database options that we'll go through in the further videos. Next, you can go to the recently visited services as well. Now, currently I'm in the Ohio region. You can switch all the regions from this going to the top right corner and then selecting any region that you like. Now, you can also go to the AWS Cloud Shell by clicking this icon here. This is a very easy to use and handy AWS Cloud Shell that, uh, that AWS has provided, which provides you command line access to the to all your AWS resources. Cloud Shell comes with already pre-installed uh, popular tools that uh, are required for resource creation and management. So it, it is a very handy and uh, very easy to use uh, shell that we can use for our uh, development purpose and uh, usability. I can do a separate video on Cloud Shell if you guys like it. Please let me know in the comment section so that uh, I'll know what your interests are. Next, this is the notification icon, which uh, like if there's a major issue, for example, a region is down or some um, availability zone is down, then you can see the uh, issues due to which many services are being affected and AWS infrastructure is being affected. Then you can check the details under this section under open issues. And uh, for example, this is the dashboard and you can use this dashboard to uh, get the latest update on, on the particular issue. Now, next, I wanted to show you the billing dashboard. So you can go to the top right corner and then you can go to the billing dashboard. And this is the billing and cost management dashboard, which you can see and you can understand and you can know more about the usage charges, uh, monthly usage charges per service usage and um, what is the forecast how much you're going to incur for the next month and similarly any important information about these costs what is it causing and uh, you know uh, why you're getting this cost you can also see the uh, free tier usage so make sure to go to this billing dashboard and learn about why you're receiving any uh, charges under free tier if you are receiving any now one thing i wanted to show you all is the free tier usage alerts. So this is a very useful feature in terms of cost management. You can go to preferences under billing preferences. You should receive this feature. Now this uh, option will let you receive the alerts if your AWS service usage charges is approaching or exceeded from the limit that has been set for the AWS free tier account. So I would highly suggest you to please make sure that you have turned on this option so that you could receive the alerts and the notifications if you to, uh, exceed the usage charges under free tier account. Similarly, you can explore all these options 
and uh, for example orders and invoices and uh, credits so under credit suppose for example i am part of aws community builder program and and as per the ways benefits one of the benefit of that program is that you would get a 500 dollar uh, credits for your uh, aws account that you can use to you know build projects in aws so i have another account in which i have used and redeemed uh, those credits so you can just uh, go to redeem credit and you can apply the promotion code here and then you can redeem those credits and use them uh, to use the AWS services and build small projects on AWS services. Now, next, I want to talk to you about Newton School, which is a great platform in terms of learning and developing your skills like full stack development. And they help you prepare for your dream company and without paying any upfront fees which is great, right? They will help you to build your tech career for the dream companies because they have partnered with 700 plus companies all over the world. And they do not charge anything upfront from you. The students are already being placed in various companies like Google, Zomato, Nika, and many more. So I would highly suggest you to please check out their website and take their courses for free because they're doing a great job in helping students getting good jobs in the industry and building a good tech career in the IT domain. As you can see here, there's zero fee till placement. There's no upfront fees that you have to pay. The students work in top companies like Google, ThoughtWorks, Somato. They have live classes, industry projects, mock interviews, and personal mentoring that would help you to ace the interviews and get a really good job in the IT industry. So please go check out their website they also have this amazing full stack web course, which would really help you if you'd like to learn the full stack development and you don't have to pay any upfront fees for this course. You would only have to pay them after you get your dream company job. So which is great, right? So do check out their website. I'll add all the necessary links that are required in the description below. So that was it for this video. I hope you all like it. And I'll see you in the next videos where we'll start learning about AWS networking services. So thank you for watching till the end. And I'll see you in the next video.